Welcome in at 10 tonight. The man accused of a deadly hit and run crash in Green Bay was formally charged in court today. And now for the first time, we're learning more about who the victim was. Noel Friel was in the courtroom today and brings us the latest. 23 year old Trevor Scheel of Green Bay made an appearance in court Thursday. He's charged with homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle and hit and run resulting in death in connection with a Green Bay crash that killed a pedestrian. The victim has now been identified as 73 year old Rosalita Helms of Green Bay. In this case, Your Honor, not only did the defendant hit and kill a pedestrian, he then just kept driving on like nothing had happened. It was here at the intersection of West Mason Street and 16th Avenue where police say that deadly hit and run occurred. They say when the crash happened, Shield did not stop and sped off. He was later arrested on the city's east side near South Clay Street. According to the criminal complaint, witnesses say they saw a gray BMW hit Helms while she was crossing the street. She was later declared dead at the hospital. Witnesses did not see him uh, break or slow down for the pedestrian before he hit her or after he hit her. And in fact, may have even sped up after hitting her. In the complaint, Shields' girlfriend claims he called her at around 1.15 p.m., the same time police were dispatched and stated, quote, I messed up and quote, I'm probably going to jail. The complaint says that when he was arrested, his preliminary breath test read over 0.2 and officers found damage to his car. The legal limit in Wisconsin is 0.08. The defendant's vehicle is uh, damaged consistent with hitting a pedestrian uh, when it was located and uh, defendant uh, uttered to police that he admitted knowing uh, that he had hit someone. In court, the judge ordered a $100,000 cash bond. Shield faces up to 50 years in prison. His preliminary hearing is set for April 28th. In Green Bay, Noel Friel, NBC 26.